the Kohler Cotton series features a single hole, single lever bathroom faucet. It was a perfect match for the envisioned bathroom. Adroa loved its elegance and Kofi liked its simplicity. There was one problem. It did not function well until this maintenance. Be back in five seconds. A journey of home renovation and maintenance. Welcome to Maintaining 18. The cold water did not function and the hot water was above a trickle and enough to serve a patient person. Kofi believed the installers forgot to remove the garnish from the water line. That was not the case. For one, the cold water line had several pinched points starving the water supply. Correcting the position and holding it in place with a zip tie fixed that issue, but did not fix the overall problem. The maintenance begins with removing the lever, which is held in place with an Allen nut. To access the nut, remove the rubber garnish and push it inwards works. It's nice, but how many homeowners realize it's there? The handle is removed with a few turns of the Allen key and a tug. Next, remove the screw. The screw allows a place for the Allen nut to secure the handle. Take caution with this next part. The valve needs to be removed. A socket is required to remove the valve hold down nut. The standard socket is barely deep enough and the wrench may not fit securely on the socket. In addition, the loosening of the nut is done a quarter turn at a time. The reason is the shaft turns when the nut turns. The shaft has a limit of a quarter turn from vertical to horizontal or 90 degrees. De Reinstalling the valve hold down nut can be a little tricky without the right tools. The troublesome part is in sight. This step requires removing the black plastic portion with the pliers. It easily comes out with a slight tug. And now for the fix. That's it. This small part, this water flow restrictor was clogged and caused the problems. Assembly is the reverse of disassembly. However, there will be something that stands in the way. The valve hold down nut has to be threaded on and it's very challenging to do so. Especially given the nut can only be tightened a quarter turn at a time. Good luck. As a word of caution, the valve hold down nut should be secure but not tight as it will interfere with the action of the lever. There's an extra step for Kofi. The washers were removed from the supply lines. Instead of using Teflon tape, a paste is used to prevent leaks. Fixing this issue was like a surgeon removing a bladder stone. The lever trim has to be positioned correctly or operating the lever will cause the trim to pop off. Be prepared to spend a little bit of time to get the correct position in. With the flow restrictor removed, use the ball valves under the sink to control the water pressure and flow. Instead of opening up the valves all the way, a half turn should be sufficient. The takeaway flush plumbing lines before installing fixtures and especially faucets. That's all Kofi has for you today. The description has some links to other useful videos that covers this topic. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe. The channel features videos about home renovation, maintenance and repair. Exposure to this channel and channels like it will improve your DIY ability. A day of maintenance keeps blight away. This day is one. Still here? Here's a bonus for you. When the lever is up, the water should be cold. 
Doing this will result in the cold water being used more and that translates into energy savings. Keep it airy and big up yourself.